Hey guys, welcome to my channel Fun Learn with Anita. Today's tutorial is on HLOOKUP. What exactly is this HLOOKUP and how it can be used in our day to day activities to make our life easier? If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Now, when we talk about HLOOKUP function, we are basically talking about the horizontal lookup function. So, it is an Excel inbuilt function that helps you. To look up in the rows and retrieve data from a specific row on the basis of index number you have provided. So if you see it is very similar to the VLOOKUP function but instead of searching value vertically through the columns it is searching horizontally through the rows and giving you the data. Now let me show you how it works. Now here as you can see I have a sample employee data that talks about ID, name, designation, salary but in a horizontal manner. And what I want is on the basis of designation, on the basis of designation of different employees, I want to know their salary. Now let's see how HLOOKUP function can help us to get that. Now to make this HLOOKUP function work, we will go to formulas, insert function, select HLOOKUP, press OK. Now it will provide me various functional arguments to make this formula work. Now starting with lookup value. It basically is asking value to look up for. Now it can be a cell or a reference. In this we are trying to find the salary for CEO. So our lookup value will be A12. The table array. You know when we talk about table array we are basically asking the lookup table. The range reference. Now make sure when we are specifying about the range. The first row has to be the row you are comparing the lookup value to. So in this case since I am trying to look salary against a designation. The designation would be a first row. So let's select the table array this is the range of a data we will absolute reference the same f4 the row index number it basically is asking from the table array that you have chosen on what row on what row number does your value lies at so if designation is a first row and we want to know the salary after designation is the second row so our row index number would be second and range lookup is asking whether you want an approximate match or whether you want an exact match. So in this case we want an exact match since especially if you are dealing with numbers it is better to go for exact match. So we will write false. Press ok. So here we can see 150,000 is the salary for CEO. Now if we look in the table 150,000 $150,000 is the salary for CEO. Similar way we can also write the formula. So let's say we want to know salary for senior director. We will write HLOOKUP. Open parenthesis. The lookup will be senior director. The table array would be this range. The first row has to be designation. Since we are trying to compare the salary against the designation. The row index number since if designation is at first and salary is the second row after that it will be 2 comma false since exact match. Now this is the salary for senior director if you see 100,000 is a salary for senior director. Now to know the salary for vice president and senior manager all I could do is just drag the formula down. Now basically since I have absolute reference set the range does not move it, it just count this as the first row and salary is the second row and it gives exact match. So if you see 99,250 is for vice president and 75,300 is for the senior manager. So now we can see the difference between HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP is that HLOOKUP tries to find data or looks data horizontally in the rows where VLOOKUP tries to find data that are listed in the column vertically. If you guys are interested to know how the VLOOKUP function works or how the index match function works that is similar to VLOOKUP, I'll make sure to drop the links. In. So if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, click like, share with your friends and family and let me know in the comment box what more you would like to learn. Stay tuned. 